Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how you can validate the user's input. So, previously we said, hello user, please pick a number between 0 and 10. I typed the number 6 and we generate some random numbers. It took 12 times to get to this number. What if I typed my name? Hello user, please pick a random number between 0 and 10 and I type Brian. Then our program crashes because it's unable to convert the user's input value to a number, to an integer. So what do we have to do in order to prevent this to happen? Well, we need to keep on asking the user for an input until we're able to convert it, until we're able to parse it. We can't use convert to int for this, but there's another function that we can use. The function is called try parse. So int 32 dot try parse. The input string is desired number. Oh no, sorry, the input string is user input and the result is desired number. And because this is an output parameter, we need to type the keyword out first. I'm not going to go into too much detail for this. Uh, just in this case, write the keyword out in front of the variable. In this case also, we need to keep on generating a number. So as long as we don't get a number, we need to generate a new one. So that means as long as we're not, because try parse uh, returns a boolean, as long as we're not able to parse this, we need to tell the user console.writeLine input is not a valid number. And then we need to store his input again. So now our program says, hello user, please pick a number between 0 and 10. I type Brian. Then the program will say input is not a valid number. If I type OK, it will keep on repeating this message until I enter a valid number. When I enter 5, you can see it's able to parse and the program will continue as normal until number 5 has been generated. It took 25 times to get to this number. However, there's other ways the user can exploit or program. So for example, hello user, please pick a number between 0 and 10 if I type my name. This is covered. But if I type 11, the program will infinitely generate numbers until it reaches 11, which it can't because we're only generating a number between 0 and 10. So how do I cover this? Well, we have to say while so as long as we can't convert or um, the number is not in the valid range, then we need to generate a new number. So or and in this case we enter a new statement. So or desired number is smaller than zero. So this is a validation. Um, if it's smaller than zero, I can leave the brackets out. Or desired number is bigger than 10. So if one of these three reasons is true, then we need to tell the user that the input is not valid. Input is not a valid number. So
Okay, so we need to make sure that the input is an integer value, so a numeric value, the input is bigger than or equal to 0, and the input is smaller than or equal to 10. And how do we define this in code? Well, as long as we're not able to parse the number, so we're not able to pass the input, or the number is more than 0, or the number is bigger than 10, in those cases we say to the user input is not a valid number and we ask him to input a value again. Hello user, please pick a number between 0 and 10. If I type hi, it will say input is not a valid number. If I type minus 1, we will say input is not a valid number. If I type 11, it will say input is not a valid number. Or if I say 8, then the input is correct and we generated numbers 0, 6 and 8. Number 8 has been generated, it took three times to get this number. So in this case, now we have a validation message. If I enter the wrong input, it will say input is not a valid number. If I write the right input, we will say your input was accepted, you picked number 5. And then here we can see our attempts 7078265. Number 5 has been generated, it took 7 times to get this number. And what we can also do is, in case we want to add more logging details, we can say generation, number generation attempt, and then we log the count. So now, hello user, please pick a number between 0 and 10. Hi, input is not a valid number, minus 1, input is not a valid number, 11, input is not a valid number, 9. And now we can see your input was accepted, you picked number 9. Um, oh, here it said 10 because I didn't patch up the first time we generated. Number generation attempt, number 1 number generated is 7, number generation attempt 30, number generated is 9, and then it said it took 31 times to get to this number, so there's a small flaw. What we have to do is we have to increase our count before we write this message. And here we can add it as well, and we need to do it below count. So now it should be accurate. Oops. Hello user, please pick a number between 0 and 10. 8. Your num your input was accepted. You pick number 8. Number generation attempt number 1. Number generated is 3 and you can see all our attempts and then it said Number 8 has been generated, it took 18 times to get this number. Okay, 